Welcome back to my videos on the designing, building and selling of my 7 meter Sharpie. In this video, um, I'll be showing you a little bit of what I'm doing uh, before the deck goes on. And um, in this video, it'll be about the, um, mostly about the prod and its housing and um, its construction and how I'll be fitting it into the boat. You can see I'm about to laminate up the um, prod tube housing and um, it'll be consist of about six layers of 400 gram double bias rolled onto this PVC tube with some wax paper around it. I think the layout's gone quite well. I used um, about six layers of um, wax paper um, to give some clearance on this aluminium tube. Which I'm going to use for my short pride prod. The anchor will hang off the end of it. It'll go into the boat about 600 millimeters. Um, but the question is, can I get the PVC tube out? It's going to happen. <laughs> the other thing is, um, has the hole been put in the boat yet? Yep, I don't think it's quite big enough yet. But it's not far away. And um, it'll s slide up to about 600. We'll have a cross member under the deck to support it. It did take a bit of getting off, um, but where there's a will, there's a way. This works really well. All that white stuff is um, wax paper. It's working. Before the deck goes on, there's quite a bit of work to do, quite a bit to work out. And uh, one of the things I've worked out is how my anchoring system will work. On my other trailer sailor, I had a prod tube coming out of the front of the boat. And I had a short prod with um, a bow fitting um, on the end of the little prod that the anchor had a, could roll over, the anchor chain could roll over. And um, this is how I'm going to do it on this boat. The um, prod, if I have a longer prod for a code zero, if that should that prove necessary. Um, on my other trailer sailor, the prod went right through the boat. It poked out. I've just um, laminated up this beam with two layers of two layers of um, double bias, 400 grams per square meter. And um, I've got to do all this before I glass the inside, before the deck goes on. And when I say glass the inside, I'm only going to glass from um, the bow 
back to about um, 1700 back from the bow and um, then I can put the deck on but before I do that I've just got to work out the mast support system the tabernacle which will go in this area about 1.5 meters back from the bow before the deck goes on there's a few things that um, are easier to do before the like the fore deck goes on so yesterday which turned into quite a mission I did this glassing got the peel ply on I was hoping to do both sides but um, yeah it's no good standing in resin so this will all be trimmed off over here but um, that's all the stuff you have to think of um, before the deck goes on well it's a lot easier to do it now and also there's a bulkhead to go on go in back here before the deck goes on and um, inside of course before the deck goes on there's an anchor locker um, floor to go on in here which also is incorporated with the tabernacle um, back here 1.5 meters from the bow so there's so much to think of just before the deck goes on and it certainly pays to work a lot of it out now this will be glued in today this just pops in like this And it'll be glued in, glassed in, and some extra layers of glass around to tie it into the boat, give it some thickness. And um, I'll probably have two prods, one for an anchoring system, which worked well on my other boat, and a longer one if I end up needing to put, use a code zero. So that's how it works. I'll probably have a pin through the sides right through so it can't rotate um, especially for the anchoring system glassing in the um, prod tube support and deck support um, I did that double bias in the corners there with the um, filler still wet saves a bit of sanding molds into a nice radius some peel ply because I've got to add some glass on underneath and a little bit of fairing in this area um, yep getting there for this part of the boat This guide powder has turned out to be really good um, for jobs like this. You put it on the batten and rub it over a surface like this and um, see where you need to take a bit off to fair it up. Um, I used to use a liquid one, really didn't like it, it penetrated the undercoat too much. On top of the anchor locker floor I've got um, two layers of um, 400 grams per square meter um, double bias and across the aft tent here I've got um, a single layer of 400 uni on the top and on the bottom and wow it's um, really stiffened up that panel and um, there's no support under the aft end here and there's hardly any flex in it at all. But it has to be strong in that area because the um, 
mass tabernacle lands in this area. So, looking good. The prod tube is under there. That's all pretty much finished um, before the deck goes on. Just a bit of a sand and um, maybe a final coat of resin. Not sure how I'm going to do those corners yet. Um, whether I'm going to cove them after the deck goes on. It's not going to be easy to get in there. Um, especially because this bulkhead will be on. So once again some yoga positions required or I might put a, um, a mitre in there and glass it in so that gives extra area on top of the top side there for the deck to glue onto um, that should do the job once again thanks for watching um, next time it'll be all about the tabernacle and um, the making of it, the fitting of it, before the deck goes on.